Welcome to Math Movies with Ms. Feuerbeck and Ms. Valuti. Today we will be learning how to use expanded notation with decimals. First, we must remember what standard notation and expanded notation are. Standard notation is using digits to record a number. This number in standard notation is 653 and 25 hundredths. Expanded notation is taking a number and thinking about the value of each digit and writing the number in this expanded form. One way to do that is to do 600 plus 50 plus 3 plus 2 tenths plus 5 hundredths by recording each, or you can also use parentheses and decimals, or parentheses and fractions, and use a combination of addition and multiplication to show the value of a number in expanded notation. We'll be practicing all these different forms. Let's write the following number using expanded notation. This number is 3 and 65 hundredths. So one way that I could record that in expanded notation is I have 3 plus I have 6 tenths plus I have 5 hundredths. I'm thinking about the value of each of these digits. I also could use either decimals and fractions using parentheses of mul and multiplication and addition to show this. So since there's a 3 in the 1's place, that's like 3 times 1, plus I have a 6 in the 10's place, which would be 6 times 1 tenth, plus I have 5 in the 100's place, which means I have 5 groups of one hundredth. So this would be another acceptable way to record this number in expanded notation. I also could record this number using parentheses, but not use decimals, but use fractions. So I would have three times one plus six times one tenth plus five times one hundredth. All three of these would be appropriate responses to writing this number using expanded notation. Here's a new number, 64 and 85 thousandths. Reading the number will help you in thinking about the place value of each digit. This number, I can see that the six is in the tens place, so that's 60, plus four, plus there's no tenths, but there are eight hundredths, plus there are five thousandths. Now, if I wanted to, I could also write this number the same way. And where there was a zero, in other words, there were zero tenths, I could record that as zero tenths if I wanted, but I do not have to. So either of these would be acceptable answers. I also, if you remember from the previous slide, could use decimals or fractions and write using with parentheses. So I could do 6 times 10 to show the 60, plus 4 times 1 to show 4, plus 8 times 1 hundredth, plus 5 times 1 thousandth. I also could use fractions and record it in this way. All of these would be acceptable forms of expanded notation. Here it says write the following numbers using standard notation. So this time they're giving me the expanded notation and I have to use standard notation or digits to record this number. So I see that it's 42 plus there are six tenths, seven hundredths, five thousandths. So this number would be 42 and 675 thousandths. Now in this problem, they're using the parentheses and decimals. I have nine times one, so that's nine whole, plus three times one tenth, so that would be three tenths, plus eight times one hundredth, which would be eight 
hundredths. So this number is 9 and 38 hundredths. And lastly, this number would be 7 times 100, that's 700, plus 8 times 1. Now, it's not saying that it's 8 times 10, so this number is not 780-something. That would be incorrect. This says 8 times 1, so that means there's no digit, there's a 0 in the tens place, and the 8 is in the ones place. So this number is going to be 708, and 4 times 1 tenth would be 4 tenths, and 1 times 1 one hundredth would be 1 hundredth. So this number is 708 and 41 hundredths. You really need to be careful when one of the places is missing. Right here, there wasn't a tens place, so that meant that a zero needed to go here to represent that. I hope that you learned a lot about using expanded notation to, with decimals. Thanks for watching.